Hello YouTube, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create a USB installer for PFSYN. So first let's talk about uh, PFSYN and what it do. So PFSYN is a free network uh, firewall distribution based on the free uh, BSD operating system with the custom kernel including a third party free software package. Um, for example it's uh, Snore that the one for intrusion detection system, intrusion prevention system it have the same uh, features as the most expensive commercial firewall solutions uh, that can be found in like Cisco system, Jupyter, Sonic Wall, Net, Netgear and Watchcord secondly let's talk about uh, some of the reasons why we're using uh, PFSense so first of all PFSense is uh, open sources so it's free obviously free is only good right <laughs> and uh, another reason why we use PFSYN is uh, it provides fi uh, commercial firewall features that can be found in Cisco so basically you can use this to monitor your network the traffic in and out of your network uh, you can uh, install snores to um, enable the um, intrusion detect uh, detection system intrusion prevention system another reason is uh, if you want to filter out your network filter out the traffic going through your networks basically if you don't want to see a lot of advertisement pop up in your web browsers or um, you can also use PFSense for parent control and purposes you can filter out uh, traffic you don't uh, let's say if you don't want to let your your kid accidentally uh, go on like pornography uh, adult website you can filter out the traffic and that pfc is gonna lock the connections they're not gonna able to access it next uh, let's talk about the requirements obviously you're gonna need to install a package this can be downloaded on a pfc website uh, by the way all the links that we uh, discussed in uh, today's tutorial are going to be down there in the uh, descriptions. Um, all the command line that I'm using for uh, this tutorial are going to be available down there in uh, the descriptions. Here you go, we're going to go to uh, download sections and um, pick the version, uh, the latest one or for whatever version you refer and the architectures. Now they only uh, support the AMD 64-bit uh, they no longer I think they no longer support the 32-bit and the NetGate ADI so the NetGate ADI basically is they build a router that come with PFSins already if you don't want to build it from the bare bone you can buy the uh, NetGate routers and use this Installer, of course, it's gonna be USB memory uh, stick installers and console either VGA or serial. I'm using VGA in this tutorial and download. So it depends on your uh, internet connection, it might take uh, between uh, 5 to uh, 15 minutes. While waiting for it to download, uh, let's talk about the requirements. The USB requirement. You can use um, the package after attracting the package is less than uh, one gigabyte. So you can use one gigabyte USB drive if you're gonna use this as a USB installer, uh, installer only. The next step is to verify the entirety of the file. In order to do that. Um, we're gonna utilize the terminal in uh, utility folders. The reason why we um, do the checksum is to make sure that we have the good file is not corrupted. So the command gonna be um, hha sum that a two fifty six. And you just drag the file into the terminal window. It's gonna generate the path to the file and hit enter. So the system uh, generate a checksum, and it match with the checksum provided by uh, PFC websites. So now we can be sure that we got a good file. 
All right, moving forward, um, insert the USB into your um, your um, computers. Next, we're gonna locate the USB disk number. Utilize the command disk to do list. So now that uh, it depends, um, you can look for the name of the USB, your USB. In this case, I'm using the Samsung USB. So the this identifier is gonna be date number three. So first off, we're gonna unmail uh, this number three using the command D two two again. Now that um, we unmounted the uh, disk three, we're gonna start to extract the um, package into the USB. So the command gonna be uh, G C C A T, and then you just track the um, file to the terminal to generate the patch. And then uh, gonna be a uh, sudo dd of So it depend um what's your this number you're gonna write uh, you're gonna change this here uh, in this one i'm gonna write into this three so make sure you have the correct one guy and hit enter so obviously the system gonna prompt you to enter the administrator password since we're using the sudo command or super user do And there you go, it's running. So it's not gonna show any complicit percentage or anything. It's gonna run in the background and when it finish, it's gonna have the message said it's a successful and track um, whatever the size of the package into your USB. And here you go, guy. Uh, that basically is, this is how you react um, install a USB for PF scenes in the next tutorial I will show you how to um, install a PF scene on the uh, small platform uh, PCs if you think this tutorial is helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye